Hey guys, welcome back. Today's card trick is called Prediction Envelope. I hope you like it. I've got a deck of cards here on the table, which we'll get to in a moment. I've also got with me a big uh, manila envelope. Um, the name of the trick is Prediction Envelope. This is actually not my prediction envelope, but this is an important envelope. Uh, and in fact, it says so right there, an important envelope. Uh, we'll get to this a little bit later. If there was somebody here, I would uh, pass this over and let them just hang on to it, uh, just so I can't do anything fishy with it. I'm going to place it off camera, uh, but I promise I'm not doing anything with it. If, again, if there was somebody here, I'd just let them hang on to it. But uh, for now, I'll just place this right there. And I would hand the deck of cards to somebody and invite them to shuffle, however they want to shuffle. And when they're happy with that, I would ask them to start dealing the cards face down into a pile. And what I want to, uh, to make sure of is that the spectator has as much choice and control as possible. I don't want to influence how they deal at all. So they don't have to deal just from the top one at a time like, uh, you, know, like you would normally. They can deal from the top. They can deal from the middle if they want. They can deal from the bottom. Uh, they can deal uh, multiple cards together two cards or three cards or four cards if they want. However they want to, uh, to deal the cards and make a pile, they can. It's completely up to them. If they want to shuffle halfway through, they can shuffle halfway through and keep dealing whatever they want to do to create this pile. They can. And then whenever they feel compelled to stop, they can stop. So we'll say hypothetically they decide to stop Something like that. Take the rest of the cards, put them aside. Now this pile was made completely by the spectator. They shuffled the cards, they dealt uh, from wherever they wanted to, the top, the bottom, the middle, one card, multiple cards, and they stopped whenever they felt called to stop. This was a, a, a pile made completely by the spectator. Now at this point, I would take back uh, from whoever's holding this, my important envelope. And at this point, we'll open it up and we'll see just what's inside. If we pull out from the envelope, we'll see this, in fact, is my prediction envelope. This could be checked out, it's completely empty. It can be ripped open if you'd like. There's nothing else inside this envelope. It can be checked out uh, as much as you'd like. This, in fact, is the prediction envelope uh, that, the trick, uh, that the trick name refers to. So at this point, I would let somebody grab this envelope from me, check it out. It's completely sealed. There's no slits, no tears or anything. It's a completely normal envelope uh, that's even been sealed. Now, before we started, uh, before I started filming this, I took a playing card from a different deck and sealed it inside this prediction envelope. Now at this point I would be hands off. Somebody else can take this envelope, open it up, and we'll see what's inside. So somebody else opens it, reaches inside, takes out one playing card. And again, this can be checked out, nothing else inside be ripped open if you'd like. Nothing else inside this envelope. Now the card that I placed inside the prediction envelope before we started was the Jack of Clubs. Now the spectator made their pile and they stopped right here on this one card. If they had felt compelled to stop even one card sooner, they would have stopped on the eight of spades. If they had dealt even one card further, let's say from the top of the deck, they would have stopped on the king of hearts. Depending on how they shuffled and how they dealt, they really could have landed on any one of these cards. If they had stopped earlier or shuffled differently, they could have stopped on any of these cards. But they stopped by fate on this very card right here. Now my prediction in the prediction envelope was the Jack of Clubs. They just so happened to stop 
on the jack of clubs as well. Perfect match. Uh, so that one is the prediction envelope. Uh, I like this one a lot, a fun uh, prediction, uh, kind of mentalism card trick. Um, but let me know your thoughts uh, in, the, in the comments. Give me some feedback on, uh, on if you like this one or not. Again, that's prediction envelope. Uh, thank you very much for watching as always. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you again soon.